Hello trainers, welcome to an episode of Pokemon Go! All these recordings are all out of place. I haven't even recorded my intro correctly based on what happened today on Community Day. But enjoy it for what it is guys! Shinx Community Day! We're going to link a couple battles at the end from Go Battle League Day. The very last one for Season 9. So without doubt, let's just jump right into the video. Enjoy it. Yeah, I'm playing. Just seeing what's the power up a Pokemon ten times, catch fifteen Shinx, find my stars. You and the shinies, boys. See. You? Welcome trainers to another episode of Pokemon Go! So today is Shinx Community Day. Right now it's uh, really cloudy. It's been somewhat raining, but that's good old typical Florida. We've uh, kind of got a little head start with our good old Community Day. I already jumped right into it, so it's going to be a little lackluster for a lack of better words. So many lack, lack, lack. But let's not lack with those shinies, so let's just see how this day uh, goes, you know? So. Here we go. Hopefully the weather permits and we can have fun still catching some good old shiny shanks. So here we go. Did you get the uh, $1 pass? Yeah. Good old $1 pass. That's like another thing too in the with the game, I, I don't usually get the uh, shinies and these one dollar passes. Like the one, yeah. I forgot which one from the like. There was like one specific event where I did get one, which was decent, but it wasn't anything like just to scream and yell about. But. I don't know. I don't think so. Could be wrong, but... Catch 15 Shinx, transfer 10 Pokemon, evolve 3 Shinx. Right, so we're just chilling out here for a second it's raining right now hopefully it cools down dies down but we're just stacking up on our second research here on our flash spark and gleam one dollar pass we're getting a luxio now and we'll see uh what will be the next part of our research after we catch this bad boy oh man it's actually it's gonna probably be like this for a while. Let's see if it's anything good. Nope. Bad IVs as always. Ooh, and it's pouring. Another Shinx. It's porn. You got yourself a Luxio, another gnome spark Pokemon. Luxio can receive a bit of other Luxio electricity by joining their tails together. Communicate with one another. Luxio gathers their tails together, color to generate powerful electrical fascinating. Find out for yourself. And let's see, the next one we got. Make three great curveball throws, evolve one Luxio, transfer 10 Pokemon. There we go. And we evolved 2,000 Pokemon. Cool. Uh, 
chilling out here a little bit more. With the good old rain, it's pouring down a little bit more. But we have to evolve a Alexio. So we have a good old Hundo Shanks. Actually, let's just do Shanks and uh, Four Star. Is we're definitely going to be evolving this one for the good old move Psychic Fang. That's the community day move for today. And uh, we'll see how that works, but we're going to do it nonetheless with good old 100% Shinx getting into Luxray. Here we go. Wish this bad boy was a shiny, but it's all good. It's all good. You have to check with the PvP stats, what's the, the ideal IVs for something like this. I haven't checked, personally. I know the stats are out, and I know people are giving it a like a 50-50 shot of it working out, but I want to definitely give it a shot. There we go. Good old Lux Ray, 100% with the good old Psychic Fang. Let's just double check here what we have to do. We gotta transfer. 10 more Pokemon. Let's just quickly look at the stats here. Bad one, bad one, bad one, bad one, bad one. This one's decent. Nah. Oh, and then we also have to do our transfers as well too. Actually, let's just, let's do that. Let's do our, I selected some Pokemon here that we definitely have to transfer. As you may or may not know, you get your 4X chance, a higher chance of actually getting XLs from transfers. So there's a lot of Pokemon that we were saving for trades, but there we go, boom, 200. Pokemon traded. I don't know the XLs there, but we did it. Get our reward. And that is that. So I don't know how you guys did as far as GBL day went. I only played two sets. <laughs> I ended up not playing anything. And uh, I just didn't. Oh, there we go. Shiny. We caught a couple shinies uh, today, but this is the first one we got on tape here. But GBL Day, I only did two sets. We tried out some Spice, which we did some pretty good, decent results with. Electrode as the lead with Shadow Needle Queen and Shadow Needle King in the back. Maybe I'll showcase the a couple battles or two in this segment of our episode because I didn't really play too much. So maybe just to mix things up a little bit, it would be fun just to add those two um, elements together. A good old, or good old Community Day and our GBL, eh, terrible, our GBL, uh, battles a couple of them that we recorded so but it was fun actually using it you know typical abb line i was trying to figure out you know needle queen as a good ranking for canto cup and that's what we had this past week and so i wanted to pair up with something with a little bit of spice so i thought needle king would have been kind of fun to use pretty much serves the same purpose double poison jab users having a, a, a permanent debuff move Sand Tomb for Needle King and uh, Poison Fang for Needle Queen. And what would be two of those Pokemon weak against? It would be Psychic and Water and possibly Flying types, depending on what it is. And what other good Pokemon would be besides good old Electrode having Foul Play and Discharge, having those two typings in those checks. So it was fun. Not the bulkiest of teams because of good old Shadow, uh, Needle Queen and Needle King. But it was fun nonetheless. You know, use a little bit of spice. We already hit legends. We're not going too crazy into leaderboard status. And uh, yeah, I mean, we only got another week left or so with GBL battles. And maybe I'll showcase, like I said, those battles. So where are we at here? We need... Um... Oh my gosh, I'm going all over the place here. One more great curve.
Well, it's uh, pouring down again, so we're just sitting down. Let's see what hatches we get again. A bomb. Oh, good old bomb sleep. Good old, good old Bonsley. We're gonna be uh, getting more of these gifts. New York, New York. We're still trying to get those shinies, you know, the Riolu. Gosh, I can't even talk today. And uh, Mr. Mime, the little baby Mr. Mime. We don't have them, but we're not going to go crazy with the incubators. If you have listened to our Go Battlecast podcast, we have strong feelings about incubators, though. I did spend uh, $5 today just to move some of the bigger kilometer eggs and just to see what we can get out of them. But yeah, besides that, I'm not too crazy crazy as far as good old incubators. Looks like as we were walking around, we got another shiny. Not the best of IDs. We're still looking for a pretty good Ultra League and Great League Shinx. But nothing good here. Nothing good here. Alright, what do you guys think about the Diamond and Pearl events? Seems a little underwhelming. Good old Zach's words, underwhelming. Doesn't seem like there's much to really be worrying about as far as our catches go. You know, it's kind of cool with, you know, the costumes and whatnot, but again, can't do nothing as far as hatching them or hatching them, evolving them. So, not really looking forward to catching them. Like I said, this community day, good old Shanks is what we love to see, that golden shiny. But still, we're on the hunt for the good IVs and the good old golden shanks for a good old Luxray. Let's see, shiny here? Nope. No shiny, so we'll just catch it. And we'll just wait it out with the rain again as it calms down so we can walk around on Constitution Park. From our last video that we did not post the last community day, we did end up going to Meisner Park, but again, another day that was raining really bad. I had this set up. I didn't have it like completely, completely set up. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna definitely post this video. We're gonna definitely post this video. So, shiny for the nope. This is not a Shinx community day. This is a Jinx community day. Hence, running away from us, Jinx. We're Jinx. Speaking of Jinx, if you guys have not seen Arcane on Netflix. Worth the watch. But yeah. There we go. Looks like things are about to cool down, so. Cool down as far as not as much rain, so here we go. No shakes. So. Ooh, another one. Another shiny. Good old shanks. Gotta throw it with the. Gotta throw it with the yellow ultra ball. You always have to. Gotta match it up. You gotta match it up. At least that's what I think. I know. But yeah. Come on, give me something good. Give me a decent IV. Nope. Terrible. Terrible. Also for the event too, you can take a picture just to get a good old chance of another shiny. Seems like always this area we don't get the shinies. That's, that's the that's my scientific hypothesis for this park. But let's do that right now. Let's let's go for the picture here. There we go. Look at that shinx. I wonder if it's uh, shiny in the photo but oh well 
Nope, nope, don't want you. I want the shinks. I want the yellow shinks, the gold yellow shinks. Nope. Well, we may see it on the next take, so here we go. All right, so we're back from Constitution Park, and you know it was just raining out a little bit. Surprisingly, we got a lot of XLs if we really needed. It was about three o'clock, give or take, and we had about 300 XLs already. So really, really love that new feature, the bonus that they added into just the community day for today with Shinx. So hopefully, they have that for future community days. That'll make XL catching a lot easier or at least the collecting not the catching i always say catching but anyways we're back home we ended up finding a rank two lux ray for ultra league and a rank eight for great league and we have a couple good ones too for little cup if we end up using it so i want to actually showcase two battles from go battle league day and so, you know, it's just using the team because I just wanted to showcase it. I thought it was fun, a little bit of spice. We hit legend, so why not try something a little bit different? So I kind of wanted to use Nido King. That was the the main thing that I wanted to use. And I was like, eh, let's get a little bit spicy. Let's get a you know a little bit of memeish a little bit. So let's go with Nido Queen because we already have one built. So we built a Nido King. It has Sand Tomb, Poison Jab, and Mega Horn. And we have Needle King or Queen, I'm sorry, that has the moves that we do know that come to uh, the game. So it's Poison Fang and Earth Power with Poison Jab as its fast move. And then I was trying to think, what is Needle Queen's biggest weakness? And it's basically the Psychics, like Hypno, Mew, uh, maybe the Flyers, depending on certain situations. So Crobat, maybe, uh, Pidgeot, and... I don't think there will really be any other uses. But then we have water types and ice types. So I was trying to figure out what lead Pokemon that I can use. And so it came down to Parasect, which I didn't want to burn the resources for. And then I came up to Electrode. So I ended up using Electrode as the lead here with Foul Play and Discharge. So both of those moves keeps the Psychics in check, the water, the ice, and the flying in check. So... Not the, probably the best of the best lead. It's a decent bulk for a lead Pokemon, but in this situation here, you know, just jumping right into the one battle here. It's already almost done. I haven't even paid attention to it, but if you guys seen what was going on, I was using Needle Queen there as a switch, and then they have right here the Nine Tails. So basically, they're gonna try to farm all the way down. And before we uh, die here. With our Needle King, we go with the good old Sand Tomb just to chip it away. It is super effective damage. And we go into Needle Queen here, and then we chip it away again with Poison Fang. This should do a lot of damage in this case. They're going to probably get the shield here. And we do. And then we're going to come into good old Electrode. And we have to call the bait here. It's definitely It could definitely be an overheat. They have a lot of energy for an overheat. In this case, I'm like, eh, got nothing to lose. And it wasn't overheat, so that was perfect for that shield right there. And then we ended up just farming all the way down. But I think they're going to get to a weather ball here because it's really unlikely for them to double up on two overheats. And plus, they already debuffed their attack, so it wouldn't be as hard. And at the very end here, they have their Lickitung, and we just go with the Discharge because it is a little bit more effective, being it is an electric type. And we win that match, and now we're getting to be a GG. So we're going to do one more battle. This was probably my favorite match out of the two sets that I played from Go Battle League Day. And it was kind of interesting. You're going to see it just in a second here. We're playing these two battles in normal speed. I forgot to change it, but whatever, you know. So we got Mew in the lead. So there we go, Psychic. This is perfect for us. We need to kind of keep this Mew in check which is perfect. We're going to build up some extra energy. The idea that I'm going to try to do here is like you just saw, we want to sneak in an extra volt switch, which we do. And we're going to probably do one more volt switch and then throw the foul play. But in this case here, they switch into 
Blastoise. Which is not the best situation, knowing that we threw just the foul play right now. So it was a little bit of a pinch. I'm like, should I go into Needle Queen or a King in this case, or should I just start attacking? But in this case, I build up to the Discharge because we did sneak in one extra Volt Switch. Wanted to see if we can get this one shield because we ended up shielding and then we jump right into our Needle Queen. So we have two answers in the back just for Mew in the case because we could chip down if we really want to. And then we're, we're going to have to shield here no matter what because Hydro Cannon is just going to knock us out really bad. In this case, we could come back with Electrode and farm all the way down. But I felt like I can build up to two Poison Fangs and, you know, throw it off. And we highly, we highly unlikely going to see them shield here. And this is going to give us Needle Queen a little bit more energy and health just to throw the Poison Fang once again. I was thinking about maybe going to Earth Power, but I wasn't counting exactly how many moves they have to a Surf, so I just went ahead and went the Poison Fang. There's nothing wrong with chipping away with good old Mew here because we have Needle King and we have an Electrode, so they're going to throw the Surf. I'm pretty sure at this case that they're not anywhere near close to an actual Surf, so most likely I'm going to probably jump into Needle King just to start out farming energy and just throw away the sand tube so whatever they have in the back we can have a good solid answer to with maybe electrode and it is actually a shadow machamp so this is perfect we can definitely survive one cross chop so the cross chop is going to go through this is going to do about a good 40 50 percent of our health and we're going to be able to sand tube and most likely just farm all the way down so we're just chipping away and here we go with the sand tube and we're going to pretty much win this match in GG. So they're going to most likely shield. No other way of really working around this. We're going to go, go, go. They're trying to probably farm all the way down. But we managed to survive with one HP in a dream. And the good old Mew comes in. And they're not going to have any energy left really to surface out. So we win that match. So yeah, good old Shinx Community Day. It was, uh, you know, the rain kind of slow things down quite a bit but nonetheless with all the bonuses that they had in the game it helped a lot so i'm very very thankful about that we got the excels that we needed for uh, luxury but i don't think we're gonna probably use it unless we do some super heavy damage spice for level 50 luxury but without a doubt between the two events it was uh, pretty good pretty easy pretty slow and chill so Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. So we're going to see what's the next event. I think it's the Ed Sharon events. If I'm saying that, pro uh, if I'm saying that pro uh, correctly. So 